Hello, Wojciech Pietrzak here. In a minute I will start the first game of the third place match of the Polish League 2023 against Ziemowit, whom you all know perfectly well. As I suppose, uh, I managed to win against Ziemowit uh, in uh, group stage, uh, but then I lost my semi-final against Bartosz Rubel, Ziemowit lost with Tomasz Styczek, so here we are. I elected to have USSR in the first game. Hmm, what do we have here? It would be a nice hand if I could use the perch, knowing it was not going to be defective. Uh, now that the danger exists, I think I'm gonna go with Nasser and aim to score Middle East as high as possible. Probably it's not going to be too high. Unless I roll exceptionally high. Okay, let's go with Nasser. Hmm, Europe's going on gem of its side. So now, what's my hold card? I think I can't afford holding Red Skull Perch, so in the pack he looks natural. Therefore, I'm gonna go with Socialist Governments here. And a 1 is certainly not, I, not what I wanted to roll. Hmm. This is a nuisance, and this complicates stuff a little. <coughs> Especially that he now has access here. Uh, too early to drop Defcon, I think. So let's cool Lebanon with Truman. Maybe I should have gone to Poland to avoid losing from Austria. I mean, not going to Poland was like switching, uh, like moving influence from Poland to Finland. All right then. I think that's it about going back and forth in Middle East. And I also think that's it about fighting for Middle Eastern domination. Unless he miserably fails coup against Egypt, in which case I counter in Iran and then go to Libya and score. Regardless of the result, because counter in Iran is only to drop DEFCON in this case. Ah, he succeeded miserably for me in Egypt. Uh, Lebanon breaks even at four, at three or more. Yeah, and it's counter -cuable. So, now uh, I need a six to make it work. Damn it. 
Okay, let's take a risk anyway. Oh, I got a six. <laughs> uh, I took a risk anyway, uh, mostly because I didn't want to leave yet another coup in his hand. And I wanted to A, keep him busy repairing Iran and B, gain access to Pakistan. But now I got the best of all worlds and he shouldn't complain because he has just rolled a six. Yeah, this was predictable. Let's dump this. I think my last move is going to be South Korea and North Korea. Although I may be tempted to take Pakistan, but this requires the China Cup. Leaving me vulnerable to some DEFCON suicidal combos. Now that there are no DEFCON suicidal influence points, it may seem safe, but I didn't see five year plan, I didn't see duck and cover, and I didn't see uh, CIA, of course, but Fidel, hey, hmm. shall I risk or not in Pakistan? No. I think that's it. He may have Asia scoring now. Bad it's played now. I mean, too bad he to be too bad he got rid of this. He now may take India, reducing my chances of Indo Paki. I got Asia scoring and other stuff. Hmm. Captured Nazi scientists. If this is defected, it's not a big deal. I doubt uh, that he defects it. <laughs> and the follow-up is NATO, NATO against Libya. I doubt in his defectors because I have Asia scoring, so he must calculate the opportunity of me having the Asia scoring actually. NATO goes first because I don't really care about I care about independent threats in Romania. But I care more about not activating NATO. And Descartes may come for the rescue. Back and cover, so I don't get my coup. Therefore, let's take a chance on India. Nope. So let's calculate our Asia options. There aren't many. Hmm. Couldn't be helped. But now that Truman is gone, I think I could take a chance on this. His only four up is US Japan. It may allow me grabbing Japan directly with the China card, although the bad cards 
still wasn't seen by me except from duck and cow. I think it's better to just accept the fact that I'm losing Asia Scoring. Six as much. But if I can end up with dominating Europe, or at least not being dominated in Europe and controlling France, it's fully acceptable. Not that I could do anything about it. Defectors. Okay, in such a case, no rush. <laughs> Marshall shall take some non battlegrounds. Maybe I just take one and wait for him to react. Spaced Korean, yep. This can't ever get better. <laughs> and I think Spain, Portugal is more important than Greece, and Greece is more important in, than Turkey <laughs> in this context. Turkey is least important because of... Uh, yeah, I knew you didn't have anything. Turkey is less important because he doesn't have access here. Spain, Portugal is more important than Greece due to France adjacency for some future realignments. <laughs> and Asia is, I guess, given up anyway unless some excuse me uh, some Asian game changer comes <laughs> you an intervening Fido hmm. okay I think he's holding something appropriate in case I play blockade, so I'm not going to do it. Strong players like Jemovic never forget about blockade. But now he may face some problems securing Europe. At least it should be costly for him. Five points after calculating milops. Not great, not terrible, I would say. But of course, I don't like the way the map is going. And it was mostly decided by the first failed coup in Iran. I'm glad, however, that I didn't use Red Scar because a one would still leave his present and would be a waste of a valuable point I really needed when I used it. Oh, maybe not so much. It was just a one point in South Korea, but anyway. Hmm. Yep, five year plan. So he would be able to discard. And he played very quickly. I think this might be five year plan or defectors.
This is a terrible hand, I must say. Okay, containment. He knows about two D cards in my hand. So now. I think it's quite important to do stuff like this and draw a one again so Deco and Distal would be mostly defensive. And this is already looking quite bad because of these Wicked somehow rolls. Wicked, I mean. Mm -hmm. So this though is quite necessary. I have to block him here. Of course, duck and cover is to go to space. <laughs> Fidel is going to be evented, but no big rush with it. Maybe it, it can be held or whatever. I mean, I can't play the China car if needed. I don't really like what I see on the map. This round. Middle East can be coming, but if it's coming, just play it now and stop making me nervous. Maybe just Arab Israeli war is coming and he doesn't want to make it any harmful to himself. Okay, let's face it. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, it's moot to play blockade for the event when he has containment active. And when he obviously knows about blockading my hand. I think I can just perform a coup with this one. Which of course gives him counter coup, disabling me from taking my military operation po victory points. Oh, whatever. He has his milops. And he has two points extra. And uh, this guy is really wicked. So we are entering mid-war with 10 points advantage of the USA and with a US-dominated Africa and Asia not scored yet. 
and Southeast Asia with plus 4 for USA. South America is all about events and Central America is about even. Middle East is USA dominated but scored. Europe is USSR dominated and waiting. And this is it about South America being even. Europe scoring and South America scoring. And a quagmire, which I could actually try to risk. Because I really like him. To lose some action rounds. His kitchen debates already score for him. But now let's play the China card. This way. Yes, I know Allende. Failed with South African on burst. This is giving me some time to perform coup. Okay, he only got one with this. But now he succeeded with OPEC. So I have to play stuff like that, because I have two scorings to play and Cultural Revolution to play, <laughs> before he finishes the game, which he could if he had Africa scoring now. Maybe I should have scored Europe first. Okay. I'm really unhappy about this South African unrest being gone. I think I shouldn't activate Camp David Accords simply because it's too many points on his side. You were giving me the Cambridge file. Oh, hmm. okay. Player five, so I am done with everything. Uh, but I can't help anything more if he continues his fight for Central America. So I have to cash in Europe. Nah. Couldn't be helped the fact that he had it because besides if I wasn't pushing Chile he wouldn't have played it certainly. <laughs> the cultural revolution may be as well saved as the next headline. it. Um, 
unfortunately I don't have good traps concerning we will bury you so let's play this one and ooh and for missile envy I would just give nuclear test time to him now the voice of America where does he want to harm me Quite a predictable set of places. This is in the deck, so... Let's... No. Let's do it this way. What's the difference? Uh, if he coos Zaire now, I can take Nigeria with We Will Bury You and one point extra uh, otherwise i would do the same with zaire but nigeria offers better odds for me in case he would like to realign it <laughs> that's exactly what i was saying about i certainly prefer this to 3-0 in Nigeria and 2-4 in Zaire. And yes, I know South America, but now Central America, Asia, Southeast Asia and Africa are at stake and I'm losing everywhere. I'm also losing on the VP track and I have a crap in my head. So I don't think Southeast Asia is repairable. But this may at least go out without doing much harm now. Although this is a third one I rolled against one stop using a one of card and a fourth or fifth one I rolled in this game for a coup. <laughs> I'm not the one who likes complaining about luck. I think it's the game of skill rather than luck. However, I feel you could agree with me with the simple set of facts I said about rolling ones. That was somewhat better, although the main goal behind this was to make arms race a poor man's scoring card. I think I even have the game changer in, at my disposal. Maybe if I survive long enough to trigger some deadly, uh, some Defcon deadly combos in the late war. Two fours in a row when I wanted one, two, or three. To grab two more victory points. Oh well. Hmm. <laughs> I certainly need you to suffer from some purgy stuff.
Okay, Kennedy went now. I assume this means he grabs all the scorings he's missing. left. Okay. I have sold negotiations. He may have a bin treaty <coughs> and this is of course pain in the ass. <coughs> Still this must be first. Okay. Maybe this is unconvertible back even with ABM treaty. And if he tries and fails, I may use chair to grab his domination of both Africa and Central America. My hold card probably is European unrest or salt negotiation. Central America scored by him. So I started rolling high, but isn't it too late? certainly not sure. With salt I'd like to wait a little because it's tempting to grab red scar of course but not in a way that he immediately um, activates it against me with the use of missile envy. Okay, if he has Africa, he should be scoring it quite soon. But I rather assume he played this stuff assuming I may have Africa. I really couldn't afford fighting for this one. Hmm. Now this Africa is going to kill me if it happens. So. This is the only scoring left, I have to reprioritize my play and now concentrate on not losing the game if Africa comes right now. Now it's 7-5, so even a successful coup makes it just even. But this also means I should probably be hesitant to play salt negotiations for an event. I don't want him to be able to mess around these African countries. And more to the point, <laughs> the Afghan seems to be my main chance, but in order to grab it I must first survive long enough to make it possible. Uh, no need to counter right now. Ah. Mm. 
no opportunity to counter right now I mean even if I coup successfully here uh, Africa is still winning in the game so I just have to space it mm. even this failed damn it Oh my, I think this game is going to end up with my defeat on turn 7, but I also think I am going to indeed play it until turn 7, just to see it happen. He got Africa going. He got Africa scoring. If he plays it, I'm losing the game because there is absolutely nothing I can do about it. So my only chance is to play around Defcon. Maybe he drew and headlined Missile Envy. In which case I have to play We Will Bury You. Uh, with CIA is most certainly not going to lose this game. Because now... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight versus four. I don't think there is a way for me to stop him winning, stop him from winning. He's winning three, I'm winning three points. Just before he triggers the score. This would be enough now. But if he makes it up to 10, even a space race isn't enough. I failed too many space race rolls for this to work. And of course, if he has anything, giving him one more point, this is still point. Oh no, he also has UN intervention. That's just too much. Uh, that's just simply too much. You know what I always wanted to do in this game? I always wanted to drop Defcon to zero. Oh, this event didn't even trigger to drop it to zero. Thank you for watching and see you next time.